EAHEA. Accreditation Process. Any educational institution that intends to earn the accreditation status from the European Agency for Higher Education and Accreditation must demonstrate compliance through the application for accreditation with the education quality standards set forth by the European Agency for Higher Education and Accreditation. Application for Accreditation Application. Prepared an application for accreditation. The European Agency for Higher Education and Accreditation has prepared an application for accreditation that will guide the applicant institutions in the preparation of the self-study report and the required documentary evidence. The applicant may apply online for accreditation and answer the required questions. Contract. This application is a legally binding contract between the European Agency for Higher Education and Accreditation and the applicant institution that states the rights and obligations of both parties. Confirm. The applicant institution may submit the application for verification of its accreditation eligibility with pay the secretary fee. Once the EAHEA secretary confirms the eligible options, the applicant institution is entitled to pay the accreditation fee. Secretary fee. The European Agency for Higher Education and Accreditation will not start any accreditation process without the corresponding application and paying the secretary fee. Consideration of Eligibility Accreditation focuses on higher education institutions. An eligible member must be any kind of organization entity or company properly authorized to conduct higher educational teaching and certification to award post-secondary degrees, certificates, or other educational or professional credentials. The entities eligible for accreditation must prepare individuals to achieve competencies and attain the educational qualifications necessary to begin functioning in a specific occupation. The secretary will review the online application form and want to see some required documents. The applicant may download and print the required documents, then fill it out and finally send it out to the EAHEA secretary by email. Accreditation fees. The Institution of Education applying for accreditation to the European Agency for Higher Education and Accreditation must pay the accreditation fee once the eligibility has been confirmed by the EAHEA Secretary and before any actual evaluation of the accreditation process starts. Evaluation Process The European Agency for Higher Education and Accreditation Secretary will distribute the application for accreditation and attach documents to an available member of the Commission for the assessment of how each standard is addressed by the applicant educational institution. Each standard is graded in 0 to 4 scale. The evaluation of each standard is graded according to the following scale, NUL, failed to comply with this requirement, insufficient, not meeting the minimums, acceptable requires improvement, standard, may improve, outstanding, no need for improvement. Interview or site visit. If deemed necessary, the commission member may require an interview with the appointed representative of the applicant educational institution or arrange a site visit from a member of the commission. The travel costs and expenses related to the interview or site visit will be paid by the applicant educational institution. The interview or site visit goals, schedule, and budget will be settled in advance by the European Agency for Higher Education and Accreditation Secretary in consultation with the applicant. Announcement 
the European Agency for Higher Education and Accreditation Secretary, will communicate the results of the initial evaluation results status to the members of the Commission. The members of the Commission have 30 days since the announcement to review and amend the conclusions and grades of the initial accreditation report. Conclusion The European Agency for Higher Education and Accreditation Secretary will communicate the results of the accreditation status and any grade amendments from the Commission members to the President of the EAHEA. The President will review the accreditation report to resolve any discrepancies that may have occurred during the standards grading. The final grades of the accreditation report are endorsed by the President of the European Agency for Higher Education and Accreditation. The EAHEA Secretary will inform the new applicant educational institution of the conclusions of the accreditation report and will provide suggestions, if applicable. In the case that full accreditation is gained, the European Agency for Higher Education and Accreditation Secretary will send the corresponding accreditation certificate. The resulting average will determine the accreditation status. Full accreditation. Final average ranging 3 to 4 requires re-accreditation review every 5 years. Conditional accreditation. Final average ranging 2 to 2.9. This is a 1 year long temporary status. Denial of accreditation. Final average ranging 0 to 1.9. The accrediting commission will explain the reasons for the denial. For more information contact our 24-7 available consultants at phone 372-6346-234 website www.eahea.org email info at eahea.org